Come no, on. thank you. Come on, let's It's see. time for the Allison's Insert Title Here Book Review. Am I right or what? Yeah, you're perfect. What? There you go. Okay. Hey, you, look out! At, look at these. Hey, come on. Comic books. These comic books here. Okay, these two are brand new. Amala's Blade, or Amala's Braid, depending on how you want to pr pronounce you that. You sounded so Chinese there. Amala's Blade? Amala's Blade, what? Amala. Amala. Okay, this is a brand I new comic book. Once. Number one from Dark Horse, written by Steve Horton and uh, drawn by Michael... Um, Michael Bublé, he's a good singer, but Diel I don't like his album. Dialness. Dialness. Dialness, you think? Yeah. All right, so this is the artwork. It's a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of uh, a sort of all-ages comic strip with um, sort of somewhat childlike uh, drawings, you know, kind of like... Wait, uh, wait! Is that a monkey? Yeah, there's a monkey there. And he gets blown up. So there's lots of violence. You know what? There's lots wait, of violence. Wait, wait. She reminds me of that Becca lady. Oh, if only, if true. only it was... Anyway, the point is that this is a fun read, and, um, you know, if you wanted to get something for your 12-year-old um, niece who does judo, this would be perfect because this is a, a, a girl hero who... Um, That's a girl! Yeah, this is a girl, her, and then she's, like, she's raiding a pirate ship single-handedly. Hey, don't give away the whole story. Yeah, so... Get out to the next book already. Okay. Don't have all day. Coincidentally... This is the other new book that came out this week, and it it's is... a graphic novel! N it's Nemo, Heart of Ice, may, uh, written by Alan Moore and drawn by Kevin O'Neill. Alan Moore's got issues. You know, he, you know it's going to be good writing, and you can see on the cover it's got good art. And by coincidence, it also starts on a ship, so that's pretty funny. I mean, look at this inside page, and it's not even the start of the story yet. This is such a nicely, uh, professionally done... Story. So, surprise, surprise, this is Nemo, the daughter of... Again, another woman here. I can't believe it. Just, it was total... I feel crazy. like I'm in the wrong place. We totally... It fluked out this way. So that was what this is okay, about. Okay, we don't have all day. It's a half-hour okay. show. Okay, it's a great story. It's a great bunch of art. My God, she's cracking the spine! She's okay. cracking the spine! Shut up! Shut up. And the then, book the last destroyer. thing I wanted to mention is... This is the find that I got from Aaron's RX Comics. All these Usagi Ujibos from his discount shelf. Can you believe this? Wait, I, I wait, I can read it from beginning wait, to end. Wait, you know what? And they say I'm cheap. No, this was awesome. And and you know Google. what? Google. And you know what I saw today was like a half dozen ish, uh, issues of uh, no, 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 they're no, not issues. They're, they're not, not trades. Trades. Half dozen Oy vey! trades of of Walking Dead. Okay, so stuff like that just shows up and then it's That's gone. That's enough already. You gotta get there. We're going and now. Take a look. Bye. Fabulous. Bye. Now that's how I do the cute ones. Fabulous. Fabulous. That's all you gotta do. That's how I do the Mr. Fabulous voice. I just kind of lean back and I go fabulous. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? But uh, what's wrong, cute one? Are you waiting for that little rodent to show up? Oh, is it time? Is it Leroy time? Leroy time! Leroy time! Gotta get me a new co-host, Leroy time! Oh, baby, you know what's right. I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye. All right, you go. Hey, everybody, it's me, Leroy! It's Wednesday night! That was uh, Dr. Cool, the Mr. Midnight Madness guy. Well, he's gone now. It's time for my comic books! Comic books! Yes, sir, put that one up. Death match number three. Wait, spoiler. Someone dies. <laughs> By O. Lance. Next comic book. Oh, yes. Legend of Luther Strode. I like this book. What? What was that? This book has. What? Say it with me. What's the keyword? By O. Lance. Stop. Buy the book. I'm going to go buy it now. Leave your time. One day I'll have a jingle. Lee. Boy. Get off yeah. my back, Rhett. I'm not on your back. You want me to be on your back? It's, I can scratch it's you. A fizz, fizz, it's, it's, it's a fizz of feet. Oh my god! It's, it's a fizz of feet! That's it's right. Camera person! Camera person! Wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait, Q1, do you got some comic books to show? Let me get them for you. Okay. Alright, come up with your own jingle. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. I don't know what to do.
Hello. That's a horrible name <laughs> for a show. Wait, wait. I don't Here know. they are. Wait, 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 wait. Here's your box. Here, take your box. Take your box. Take them. Mm. All right. Look, look at the cute one. Comic book time. I have. Ah, who that? It's it's one of the doctors. Who that? The, doc the doctor. Who? That the exactly. Who that? It's the doctor. Doctor who? Exactly. No, exactly. Who is he? He's the doctor. Yeah, what doctor? The doctor. Doctor Wu. Jo Not Doctor Wu. Johnson. Doctor who then? Doctor. Doctor. I'm confused. John. My name's John Smith. That's okay. That's doctor. Okay, go on then. Doctor. And and yeah. and and. Is it violent? Not really, but can I show you the first page? Show me the first page. Oh, the tortoises! I know. Are they all named sexy? No, they're not all tortoises. Well, that's a tortoise. No, 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 no. I see, I see a little reference to the time traveler who travels in a phone booth there. That, that's, that's that's what the story's about, yeah. Leroy. Okay. No, doctor. It's, it's, it's Doctor Who. No, no. They're doing a little homage to that and new series about the time traveler who travels through time. That little fun series on the web there? Doctor Who. No, not Doctor Who. It's a spoof of Doctor Who. The web series. The time... It's on the Facebook. That's all I gotta say. Next book. Another Doctor Who book with Matt Smith. That's that's a girl. Amy. That's Rory. That's Amy and Rory. That's Matt. And then... That is... The new co-host. No, no, no. The new girl? No. What's her name? I have to check. Ah, you didn't read the book! I did Problem. Yes, That's so all I, I gotta say. All right. Say bye bye. 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 Bye Okay. Would you like a hand? Where's my shirt? Uh, it's, I think I think you. I think, <laughs> I think that's mine. What? Why, why, why am I wearing? Why are you wearing my tank top? Where am I? Oh my god, he's still here, isn't he? You're wearing like a wife beater. Oh, oh, I didn't know you. Okay. S what? Something's down there. Okay, okay. Hey. okay. Hey. I'm not gonna look. The math it's, is. It's, hey. I, man, I got a mess of it right no, no, now. No, 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 the comic book, the mess okay, It's a good series. It's planned already. Oh, God. No, that, we have another one. It's one of your favorites. <laughs> no, wait, this is one of your favorite comic books. <laughs> Come back some other time. Okay, alright, all right, okay, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's have a look. Why is there a book in my face? Because you're supposed to be reviewing this. At what? Come this back. What? What? Now he's looking at literature, okay? I get it. Where's my books? Right right here. I read that one already! I, I know. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to go nappy time. No, nappy time! Nappy, nappy, nappy time! Are you okay? Would you like a hug? <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go. Wait, wait, wait. Flush it for me, please. You know why you're here? You're here for the cool comic book review show. I am the mad Montreal man. On the tired side of it, went to uh, see a movie tonight. So catch the review later at some point. But uh, let's talk toys, shall we? Toys are cool. We should have an interview. Like I mean, sorry, um, a look at all these things one day. You mean, you mean all, the, all the all all the toys? All the the well maybe oh, just the hey. ones that we can get to, not the ones that are buried you mean the ones in the closet. Buried in, that's a closet back here. Yeah. Toys. See, look, closet. Look, look, look. Thundercats. Okay, this is bad. Okay, I never even liked the Thundercat show, but what did I do? I bought Thundercat toys. We got. Not stupid. Mounted peoples and little tiny. Hey, but but honestly, apart from the books and the toys. 
You're here for comic books, aren't you? I believe so. I believe so. Uh, shall we get to the comic books, then? Um. Or maybe we can just. Should we can suffer more? for a little bit more? No, no, suffering is, is having to watch Lowry go down the toilet like that. I I feel bad for the guy. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. He needs to go to rehab. <laughs> he needs rehab, and I need comic book toy addiction therapy. Said to go to rehab. Okay, folks. No, no. You know what's getting bad when I'm thinking about having to cut back on comic books because it's so freaking expensive. Those of you who watch this show regularly know fully well how big my piles can be. What you don't know is how much that hurts the pocketbook. Yes, comic books are expensive. That said, this might be the last week that kind of go crazy. I might have to start cutting back a little bit. So some tiles I might not cover anymore, but this week we're going for it as usual. Because frankly, what's more important? Food or comic books? Comic books, clearly. That's right, I can do without food. Okay, Marvel! Marvel, Marvel, now, 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 as I call it the, uh, let's see, what can we do to make marketing sales? I know, let's start a rumor that we're going to kill Wolverine off next year. Hmm, I wonder why they would do that. Hmm, okay, here's an answer why they would do that. Really simple, Wolverine is the coolest character they have. He's in pretty much every Marvel book. So if they go to kill him off next year, guess what they have? cross-market sales of every Marvel book, The Death of Wolverine. He was in The Runaways. Yes, yes. Wolverine's been in every single frickin' Marvel book. There is! So if they actually go and kill Wolverine off next year, let me see. They'll kill Wolverine off. They'll have Dakin take over as Wolverine for a while. Then they'll eventually find a way of bringing him back. Okay, seriously, Marvel, can you just come up with new stories, better stories than having to rehash killing people? Speaking of which, let's get to the actual Marvel comic books this week. Young Avengers. Not impressed. Sorry. I know it's a lot of hype about this series. I wasn't impressed. Okay, yes. Speaking of not so impressed. Yeah. No one died this issue. Really? They're going to drag it out that long? Oh, it was a spoiler, by the way. Sorry. I thought people were supposed to die every yeah, yeah, issue. No, not this one. All right. Not not a bad read, enjoyable. Thunderbolts, once more, keeping with the reddish, purple, pink theme. Pink. Okay, yes, you've all seen the frickin' old Age of Ultron stuff. Yes, Marvel's new crossover for March. It all starts in here. Yeah. See, the one thing about this series is they never explain how the Red Skull came back, because he was dead, sort of. Hmm. Missing that part somewhere. Okay, also missing this month was really good artwork and storylines in the Journey of Mystery. Disappointing issue. Speaking of disappointing, Marvel is trying too hard to do an alternate indie book. What is that? This is one of the ones I might drop. I know he's a popular artist and it's kind of fun, but it's feeling too much like it's not a Marvel comic book anymore. <sighs> okay, everyone's had the hype for this one. We all knew it was coming out today. Guardians of the Galaxy... Yes, getting hyped up for next year's movie, most likely. Not a bad read, it was still fun, but once again, we all know Star-Lord, and I prefer the old costume over this one. Or even the Star-Lord who perished in the last time they did Guardians of the Galaxy. It's getting confusing with Marvel. They keep on bringing back characters that are dead, probably not, like Nova the Kid, eh, whatever. Okay, good wrap-up to the miniseries, Punisher Warzone. Good wrap-up. Even though this does remind me of... Okay, spoiler... For those of you who remember the old DC Vigilante, hmm, Okay, best Marvel cover of the week, and also the best Marvel book of the week. Sweet cover. I mean, come on. It's it's one of those books that doesn't look like a regular Marvel book, but it actually works. Enjoyable, fun read. Okay, DC Peel. Yay. Hey, yeah, up, up from the start of it. Oh, in the wake of Death in the Family. Look, it's it's... The Teen Titans. I will say one thing. The artwork in this one finally got a little bit better. Okay, not a little bit better. Still kind of like I got a bit of a headache. Red Lanterns. Force of Habit by it. It's, it's, it's a Green Lantern book series. Oh, not impressed. Flash, I'm sorry, but it's all his fault. New 52, think about it. Worst cover from DC in a long time. 
Man, the one thing nice. about this, though, you can tell a lot by the cover. I had a headache reading this story. Oh. Okay. This is actually a good DC story. I'm enjoying it. It has nothing to do with the rest of the DC Universe. Injustice. That's right. It's actually a good concept. I like this. I want the game now. That's good marketing, DC. Okay, Justice League Dark. Fun, but not too dark. Okay. The coolest DC character right now. Aquaman, that's right. King of the seas, king of the comic books right now. Right, another good spinoff that's been enjoyable. One thing that DC's been doing good. Tell him, I like it. The, I can see why they canceled it, unfortunately. Had so much potential, but they just can't, can't use it properly. Okay, the next one I'm going to do, actually I'm going to save that one for last, pretty much for DC. TV spinoff, it's also work work. Okay. There's a couple more for DC, but I'm going to do the big one. The big one that everyone's talking about today. Yes, yes. going back to when DC did their relaunch, but they didn't call it a reboot, they promised everything's going to be new! We're not going to do the old anymore! And DC explained to me this. Okay. Once more, death in the family and you kill a Robin off. Really? New DC is doing old DC storylines. And what's even worse? People are lining up to buy this thing that they've mass printed. Okay, the rules of a comic book being worth money, it has to be rare. Not mass printed. So those of you guys who think you bought tons of these to make money off them, good luck. And uh, here's a spoiler for you. For those of you who remember the graphic novel a ways back, Damien comes back. See, Ra's al Ghul, grandfather... Lazarus Pit, take that body, toss it Lazarus Pit, body comes back to life. Duh! DC hype, DC marketing. Ugh. But they do do some things good. I love this series, Joe Kubert Presents. Okay. And finally, finally, no more stupid Eclipse storyline. Jonah Hex is back to being a Western, except look what they've done Stormwatch. Yes, they should not call it DC anymore. They should just call it Wildstorm's Taking Over. But, I digress. DC's best cover of the week. It's actually a wicked cover. Actually, I'm going to give this one cover of the week overall. Yes, DC has a cover that beats every other cover this week. As a series, that's cancelled. My vampire. My vampire. Best cover they've done in a long time. And look at it. That looks like Cass from Supernatural. Okay. Still, looks it's like a him. beautiful cover. Nice. Okay, story finally got good, and they're canceling the story. Okay. So that makes this now DC's best cover of the week. But reading this book gave me a bit of a migraine. Before Watchmen, yes, it's half upside down. What? On purpose. Oh. After Why? Watchmen. Why? Because they're trying to be different. It's just irritating. So that's it for DC. Peel back. I mean, could you imagine that you're sitting on the bus yeah, reading well, that comic book? Turn it upside down. People look at you like, "Wow, is that guy an idiot?" First of all, if you're on, on a bus reading a comic book, you got something wrong. Maybe with you. it takes you an hour to get to work. I wouldn't be reading that comic book. On Maybe the bus. people want to read the comic books on the bus. I don't know, but you're reading it in public. You look. Stupid. I went up reading that comic book on the bus. Okay, hey, the back. alternates. All right, classic, classic characters. The Rocketeer in a Hollywood horror. Ooh, cool character. Uh, classic character. The Lone Ranger. Okay, best American BD series. Probably the one of the few things that shocked me the most when I started picking it up a while ago. I'm enjoying Profit. It's one of the ones I actually do recommend you pick up. Okay, pulp characters again. Mask, fun read. Now, for the ultimate cover of the week. Now, if you saw the Tuesday Night First Look, you saw the cover for this thing. Oddly enough, I got a different cover, and this cover just rocks it for alternate covers. Heavy metal. I didn't know they did more than one cover this issue, but uh, thanks to the guys at the store, I got the cool cover versus the cover with the girl with the butt. I'm just saying. Cool. Very yeah, cover heavy metal. Not nice. Not nice. Alright, now to wrap it up, on the expensive side, I talked about these before. Graphic novels, very big day. I like them. Orbitals. That's it for my big week. Yes, it's been two very large weeks in a row. And a reminder, if I haven't reviewed a book yet, you want me to review, there's a reason for it. For poor man. See this? I passed the hat. The hat's empty. Okay? 
I mean, look at all these toys. Do you really think we can afford? Yeah, I got more toys to buy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we need the toys. If you want us to review something, just do it yourself okay. or give it and to keep us. Keep in mind, too, this place is packed crowded because it's a small place. So, small. like I said, the past two weeks, pocketbook, I can't even afford my shirt anymore, okay? Poor, I mean, how am I going to keep Lowry and alcohol? Comic books are expensive. They're addictive, but they're fun. So, uh, for Mad Munchal Girl on camera. Hi. For the cute one, the Allison, Mr. Schwartz. The <laughs> Leroy, Lowry, Slam. Um, Fabulous. Mr. Fabulous slash Dr. Midnight. You know, he, he does not, uh, we got that crazy cat Hitchcock, Renee the Raven, Mr. Capuchon. From everybody I could think of. The little hedgehog? The hedgehog has no name. Everyone here at Madness Inc., thank you for watching. Keep Keep tuned. Recommend us, promote us, because you know I, I am gonna go crazy this summer. It's gonna happen. Yes, I mean I'm not gonna really be here this summer, so he's gonna go insane. What is he gonna do? Me and Nicole are going to camp. Freaky heads. I mean Nicole and I are gonna be gone. I'll be gone for six weeks. She'll be gone for three. I have no idea what he's gonna be doing during those that time. Better send me a care package, goddamn it! I'm not eating potatoes right. for. So uh, see, see, that's why comic books are expensive. So. uh... You know, hey, help out a brother, whatever. Okay, Your brother from another mother. That's right. That's right. Come well. Okay. Just from another mother. Comic books, comic books, comic books, comic books, comic books, and toys. Yep. That's toys. I know people are saying I should just stop buying them, but excuse me. That's like stop living. So uh, from the Mad Man Cave. Yes. Thanks for watching the cool comic book review show. We'll see you soon for a movie review from tonight's movie. I'll tune in next Tuesday. Even if there's no comic books at the store, we will do a Tuesday night first look. Why not? We'll just stand there and be like... We'll just stand there and go, Look, it's an empty rack. But, uh, yeah, tune in next Tuesday. Tune in next Wednesday late again for comic book reviews. And uh, check our channel out for other stuff. We are going to get filming again. And I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Ramble! Right. Rambling. You know what, guys? We'll see you later, all right? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm Have gonna, a nice you know night. What? I'm going to pass the hat Day. now. All right, bye. Oh.